Welcome to Baji Guru Bidang Rundi. I'm Gary Wiryawan. Today I want to talk about making photograph of small products using strobes or off-camera flash technique. The reason why I want to share this technique is because using off-camera flash, we can create some interesting lighting that we cannot create using available light or natural light, including my favorite low-key look which has that specific dark background contrasting look. This technique can help to create a much more dramatic and interesting image than just using available or natural light. We will photograph a few different objects today with different size and textures so that you can get a feel of how this technique will impact your image. So what equipment do we need? First, obviously we need a camera and a lens. I'm using my Panasonic GX8 Micro Four Thirds camera with the 12 to 35 mm f2.8 lens. Then we also need a speed light. Any manual flash like my Yongnuo 560 Mark IV will work. We also need a pair of radio transceivers to fire the flash off camera. I also suggest to use flash reflector diffuser like this Rogue Flashbender to soften the light. Here are some examples of the products that we want to photograph today. We have minifigures, coffee cup, as well as fake flower. Now it's time to set up the equipment. First install the transceiver on top of the hot shoe of the camera and tighten the screw. Put the camera to manual mode, set the aperture to f5.6 and shutter speed of 125th of a second and ISO of 200. Now you're supposed to get pitch black image on your camera. If you're not getting a pitch black image, then turn off some of the light in the room. Then turn on the radio trigger by setting it to transmitting mode. Then we will need to set the flash. First, attach the other transceiver radio trigger on the flash. Adjust the power of the flash accordingly. Because we're firing from close range, we can adjust the flash to low power setting like 164th power. Then turn on the radio trigger into receiver mode. Also put on the flash bender on the flash and bend it a little so the flash bender can bounce the light on a single direction without bouncing on the wall. Now we will start by shooting the mini figures first. Let's position them on the surface. Then let's compose the shot. I zoom to 35mm or 70mm in full frame to get the compression effect. After composing on the camera, Position the flash above the subject to get an even lighting on each of the figures while preventing the light to bounce on the wall and destroy the low key effect. We now got our shot. Adjust the flash power or aperture to get stronger or weaker light from the flash and experiment with the light angle from the flash to get the best result. Now let's move on to the coffee cup and experiment until we get the right shot. For the coffee cup, I zoom to 25mm or 50 on full frame and trying to nail two shots. One is the standard low key shot and the other is slightly less low key horizontal image. Here is the result. So for the flower shot, I zoom to 18mm and then I position both the camera and the flash and then I check the settings, I focus, compose and then take the shot. Repeat until we get the best result, adjust power and aperture as needed until you get the best light. I experimented with horizontal image too on this one and I like the result too. Please keep in mind that you cannot always get it right on your first few shots so you may have to experiment and repeat until you get the best result. You will need to experiment with the aperture, with the flash power as well as with the light angle to get the very best result that you're looking for. Quick theory, your aperture will affect both the depth of field as well as the flash power. Flash power will only affect flash power and will not affect anything else. Usually, you will want to keep the shutter speed at the highest sync speed possible of your camera, which is usually around 1 25th of a second or 1 1 60th of a second, depending on your camera. I hope this video has been useful. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check my photography blog as well as my Instagram. Link in the description below. Thanks and goodbye.